Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss International Mathematics Olympiad Level 2 Year 2019-20 for Class 4. Total number of questions will be 35 and total marks will be 40. Mathematics will carry 30 questions of 1 mark each and Achievers section will carry 5 questions of 2 marks each. So the first section is Mathematics. Question 1. A wooden log is 3 meter 48 centimeter long and another wooden log is 3 meter 140 millimeter long. What is the total length of both the logs? This is a wooden log. Its length is 3 meter 48 centimeter. This is another wooden log and the length of this log is 3 meter 140 millimeter. Now we have to find the length of both the logs. This plus this. But here it is 3 meter 48 centimeter and here it is 3 meter 140 millimeter. Units are different. So first we will convert the length of this log and this log into centimeters. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So 3 meter is equal to 3 into 100 that is 300 centimeter and 48 centimeter is already in centimeter so we will add it. So total length of this log is 300 plus 48 that is 348 centimeter. Now in this log 1 meter again 100 centimeter so 3 meter is equal to 3 into 100 that is 300 centimeter. Now 1 millimeter is equal to 1 upon 10 centimeter. So 140 millimeter will be equal to 140 upon 10 that is 14 centimeter. So total length of this log is 300 centimeter plus 14 centimeter that is 314 centimeter. Now the total length of both the logs this plus this 348 centimeter plus 314 centimeter it is equal to 662 centimeter correct answer is option B. Question 2 how many letters in the given word have at least one line of symmetry. T has one line of symmetry. H has one line of symmetry. O has infinite lines of symmetry. U has one line of symmetry. A has one line of symmetry. And D has one line of symmetry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 letters in the word 1000 which have one line of symmetry. Correct answer is option B. Question 3. Which of the following numbers has the greatest number of factors? So in option A, 81. 81 has 1, 3, 9, 27 and 81. There are 5 factors of 81. Option B, 45. It has 1, 3, 5, 9, 15 and 45. 6 factors. Option C, 32. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Again 6 factors. Option D, 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. 8 factors. So which number has greatest number of factors? Yes, option D, 24. It has 8 factors. Question 4. In the number 46,328, if the digits at 100's place and 10,000's place interchange, then find the sum of place values of all the digits in the new number formed. The number is 46. 3, 2, 8. Digits at 100th place and 10,000th place are, in, are to be interchanged. So, 
hundreds place and ten thousands place. When we interchange the numbers, so the new number formed is three six four two eight. And the question is asking find the sum of place values of all the digits in the new number formed. So the new number formed is thirty six thousand four hundred twenty eight. Question is asking the sum of place values of all the digits. So sum of place value of thirty six thousand four hundred twenty eight is thirty six thousand four hundred twenty eight. Correct answer is option B. Question five. Find the sum of eighth multiple of twelve and sixth multiple of nine. Eighth multiple of twelve is ninety six. And sixth multiple of nine is fifty four. Sum of ninety six and fifty four is equal to one hundred fifty. Correct answer is option A. Question six. Find the missing number. Let the missing number be x. So when we rewrite this equation, we'll write it as eighty five into one hundred fourteen is equal to Five into three into seventeen into x into two. So eighty-five into one hundred fourteen is equal to nine thousand six hundred ninety. Is equal to five into three into seventeen into two is five hundred ten, and we'll multiply it with x. So the value of x is equal to nine thousand six hundred ninety upon five hundred ten. Five hundred ten went to the left side. So we will cut the zeros. Fifty one ones are fifty one, and fifty one nineteen is a nine hundred sixty nine. So x is equal to nineteen. Correct answer is option D. Question seven. A container has a capacity of sixty one liter, three hundred sixty five milliliter. How many cans each of capacity 4 liter 91 milliliter are needed to fill the container Since each can can hold capacity of 4 liter 91 milliliter we'll divide 61 liter 365 milliliter by 4 liter 91 milliliter to get the number of cans required to fill the container Since one unit is liter and other unit is milliliter, we'll convert the entire quantity into milliliter. So it will be sixty-one into thousand. One liter is equal to thousand milliliter plus three hundred sixty-five milliliter upon four into thousand plus ninety-one milliliter. Sixty-one into thousand is sixty-one thousand. Sixty-one thousand plus three hundred sixty-five is sixty-one thousand three hundred sixty-five. Upon four into thousand, four thousand. Four thousand plus ninety-one, four thousand ninety-one. When we cut this fraction into its lowest form, we get fifteen. So fifteen cans are required to fill the container. Correct answer is option C. Question eight. If the perimeter of the given figure is three hundred one meter, then find the value of x. Perimeter of any figure is sum of all sides, so we can write it as x plus thirty five meter plus fifty meter plus forty eight meter plus forty meter plus thirty two meter plus forty four meter. Is equal to three hundred one meter because it's written perimeter of given figure is three hundred one meter. Now we will add all these numbers except x, so it will be x plus two hundred forty nine is equal to three hundred one meter. So x is equal to three hundred one meter minus two hundred forty nine meter. Two hundred forty nine will go to the Right hand side, and because there is plus sign here, when it will come to the right side, it will become minus sign. So three hundred one minus two hundred forty nine. 
सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी टू करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी क्वेश्चन नाइन अ बस कैरी सिक्सटी फाइव पैसेंजर्स इन ईच ट्रिप हाउ मेनी पैसेंजर्स विल द बस कैरी इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई अगस्त एंड सेप्टेम्बर इफ इट मेक्स ट्वेल्व ट्रिप्स अ डे द बस कैरी सिक्सटी फाइव पैसेंजर्स इन वन ट्रिप सो वन ट्रिप इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फाइव पैसेंजर्स इट मेक्स ट्वेल्व ट्रिप्स अ डे सो ट्वेल्व ट्रिप्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व इंटू सिक्सटी फाइव दैट इज सेवन हंड्रेड एटी पैसेंजर्स नाउ हाउ मेनी पैसेंजर्स विल द बस कैरी इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई अगस्त एंड सेप्टेम्बर नंबर ऑफ डेज इन जुलाई इज थर्टी वन नंबर ऑफ डेज इन ऑगस्ट इज ऑल्सो थर्टी वन नंबर ऑफ डेज इन सेप्टेम्बर इज थर्टी सो थर्टी वन प्लस थर्टी वन प्लस थर्टी इज नाइंटी टू डेज सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दैट हाउ मेनी पैसेंजर्स द बस विल कैरी इन नाइंटी टू डेज इन वन डे द बस कैरी सेवन हंड्रेड एटी पैसेंजर्स सो इन नाइंटी टू डेज द बस विल कैरी सेवन हंड्रेड एटी इन टू नाइंटी टू दैट इज सेवेंटी वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी क्वेश्चन टेन कनिका वेक्स अप एट सिक्स फिफ्टीन एम She leaves her home after 20 minutes for jogging and jogs for 35 minutes. At what time her jogging completes? So wake up time is six fifteen a.m. She leaves her home after 20 minutes. So the time she leaves her home is. Six fifteen plus twenty minutes. That is six thirty-five. So she leaves her home at six thirty-five a.m. and jogs for thirty-five minutes. So the time at which her jogging is completed is six thirty-five plus thirty-five minutes because she jogs for thirty-five minutes. it is equal to 7:10 am so her jogging completes at 7:10 am correct answer is option b question 11 ajay bought two toy cars and three toy trains the cost of a toy train is rupees 45 more than the cost of a toy car if he gave the cashier 2 rupees 500 notes then how much change did he get so cost of car is rupees 130 cost of train is 45 rupees more than the cost of toy car so it is 130 plus 45 That is equal to rupees one hundred seventy-five. Now, cost of two toy cars is equal to one hundred thirty into two. That is rupees two hundred sixty. Cost of three toy trains. Is equal to one hundred seventy-five into three. That is rupees five hundred twenty-five. So total money spent is two hundred sixty plus five hundred twenty-five. That is rupees seven hundred eighty-five. Now Ajay gave the cashier two five hundred rupee notes. Five hundred plus five hundred. That is thousand rupees. so how much he will get in change he will get 1000 minus 785 that is rupees 215 correct answer is option a 
Question 12. We plotted three points on a grid. The three points together make a dash. If we trace the three points, we can see that it's forming a straight line. So correct answer is option A. Question 13. Consider the following numbers. Find the difference between the digits at 100th place of the greatest and the smallest number. M, C, X, L, I, I, I is equal to 1143. M, C, D, I, V is equal to 1404. M, M, C, D is equal to 2400 m c d x x i v is equal to 1424 m c c l v is equal to 1255 and last m c d x v is equal to 1415 so which is the greatest number yes mmcd the value is 2400 and the smallest number mcxliii mm, which is 1143 so what is the digits at the hundred place of both the number in the greatest number it is 4 and in the smallest number it is 1. So 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Correct answer is option A. Question 14. The difference of two numbers is 7889. If the greater number is 52438, then find their sum. Let the missing number be x. If we subtract x from the greater number that is 52,438, we get 7,889. So we can write it as x is equal to 52,438 minus 7,889. That is 44,549. So the missing number was 44,549. Now we have to find the sum of 44,549 and 52,438 which is 96,987. Correct answer is option B. Question 15. The given table shows the duration of Anya's class. Question 15. The given table shows the duration. Question 15. The given table shows the duration of Anya's tuition classes on four days. How much total time did Anya spend on her tuition classes? We'll add the duration spent each day on tuition classes. 2 hours 15 minutes plus 45 minutes is equal to 3 hours. 3 hours plus 1 hour 52 minutes, 4 hours 52 minutes. 4 hours 52 minutes plus 40 minutes. 5 hours 32 minutes. 5 hours 32 minutes plus 1 hour, 6 hours 32 minutes. Correct answer is option D. Question 16. If flower plus flower plus flower plus flower plus flower is equal to 35 and flower is equal to flower plus flower, then find the value of flower plus flower. There are two different types of flowers, this one and this one. Okay, the value of this flower is equal to two types of these flowers. Means we can assume it as two flowers here and two flowers here okay so one two three four five six seven so seven these flowers is equal to 35 so value of one flower is equal to 35 upon 
7 that is 5. The value of this flower is this plus this. The value of this is 5. So 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. So value of this flower is 10. Now we have to find the value of this plus this. This is 10. This is 5. So 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Correct answer is option D. Question 17. Find the perimeter of the given figure. Length of WV is 22 centimeter. Length of SU is also 22 centimeter. Length of TU will be 22 centimeter minus 5 centimeter. That is 18 centimeter. Now length of PQ is 18 centimeter. Length of RT is also 18 centimeter. So length of RS is equal to 18 minus 5. 13 centimeter. Now we will add all the lengths. 18 centimeter plus 6 centimeter plus 18 centimeter plus 8 centimeter plus 22 centimeter plus 8 centimeter. This is 8 plus 13 centimeter plus 6 centimeter is equal to 98 centimeter. Correct answer is option A. Question 18. Study the given figures carefully and find the weight of watermelon plus apple. So, weight of two watermelons and one apple is equal to 900 gram. Two watermelon plus one apple. Weight of four watermelons and three apples is 2000 gram. Four watermelons plus three apples. If the weight of two watermelons and one apple is 900 gram then the weight of four watermelons and two apples will be equal to four watermelons and two apples is equal to 900 into 2 that is 1800 grams so one apple is left so one apple weight is 2000 gram minus 1800 gram that is 200 gram so weight of one apple is 200 gram so if we subtract 200 gram from 900 we'll get the weight of two watermelons that is 900 minus 200 700 gram so weight of one watermelon is equal to 700 divided by 2 that is 350 gram and weight of one apple is 200 gram so 350 grams plus 200 grams is equal to 0 5 5 550 grams correct answer is option c question 19 find the value of p plus t plus q minus r plus s from what number we will subtract 3 to get 1? 3 plus 1, 4. So, value of t is 4. Now, we cannot subtract any number from 2 to get 3. Means this number could be 12. So, what will we subtract from 12 to get 3? 12 minus 3, that is 9. So, 12, so value of r is 9. 5 minus 6 it is not possible since we took so we will convert this into 15 but we carry forwarded one here so it will become 14 14 minus 6 is equal to 8 the value of q is 8 now what will we subtract from 6 because we carry forwarded one here so it will become 6 so what will we subtract from 6 to get 1 we will subtract 5. So, value of S is 5. Now, what is the value of P? From what number we will subtract 4 to get 2? 4 plus 2 that is 6. So, value of P is 6. Now, we will put the numbers in the equation. P is 6 plus T. 4 plus Q. 8 minus R. 9 plus S, 5. 
6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 8, 18. So, 18 minus 9 plus 5, 14. 18 minus 14 is equal to 4. Correct answer is option D. Question 20. Priya, Payal and Kirti bought 1, 3 upon 4 meter, 2, 2 upon 5 meter and 3, 1 upon 2 meter of ribbon for decorating the birthday present for Raman. What is the total length of ribbon they bought? First, we will convert the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So, 4 ones are 4 plus 3, 7. 7 upon 4 meter plus 5 to the 10 plus 2, 12. 12 upon 5 meter plus 3 to the 6 plus 1, 7. 7 upon 2 meter. We are adding all the lengths because we have to find the total length of ribbon they bought all together. Okay. So, first we will find the LCM of 4, 5 and 2. That is 20. So, 7 upon 4. So, what will we multiply with 4 to get 20? 5. 7, 5 is 35. 5, 4 is 20. Now, 12 upon 5. We will multiply 4 to get 20. 5, 4 is 20. 12, 4 is 48. 7 upon 2. 2 tens are 20. So, 10. 7 tens are 70. 2 tens are 20. Now, the denominators are same. So, 35 plus 48 plus 70 upon 20 is equal to 153 upon 20. When we divide and convert it into its mixed fraction, we get 7 13 upon 20 which is in option C. So, option C is the correct answer. Question 21. Who am I? I am a four digit number. I have four in the hundreds place. I am greater than thousand. I have six in the tens place. Sum of my digits is 12. My thousands place and ones place digits are same. I am a four digit number. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. I have 4 in the hundreds place. I am greater than 1000. I have 6 in the tens place. Sum of my digits is 12. My thousands place and ones place digits are same. In option A, we have 4 and 6 in hundreds and tens place. But here we have 6 and 4 instead of 4 and 6. So option A is incorrect. Option B, it has 4 and 6. And the sum of digits 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 6, 11, 11 plus 1, 12. Yes, sum of digits is 12. So, correct answer is option B. Question 22. 400 poles were erected along a straight road. The distance between the two consecutive poles is 15 meter. What is the distance between the first and the 199th pole? Distance between first and fourth pole is 15 into 3. 45 meter. This is because the first pole is the starting pole. Similarly, distance between first and 199th pole. We will exclude the first pole because it is the starting pole. So, there will be 198 poles. So, 198 into 15, we get 2970 meter. And when we convert it into kilometers, we get 2 kilometer 970 meter. Correct answer is option B. Direction 23 24. The given graph shows the number of cakes sold by 6 bakeries in November. Study the graph carefully and answer the following questions. Question 23. Which bakery sold 250 more cakes than bakery A? Bakery A sold 450 cakes. The question is asking which bakery sold 450 plus 250, 700 cakes. So, bakery B sold 700 cakes. So, correct answer is option A, bakery B. Question 24. How many more cakes did bakery B sell than bakery F? Bakery B sold 700 cakes. Bakery F sold 650 cakes. Let me show you. So, 
So, we will subtract it 0, 10 minus 5, 5, 6 minus 6, 0. 50 more cakes. Bakery B sold 50 more cakes than Bakery F. Correct answer is option A. Question 25. Which of the following statements is correct? Option A. A triangle with only two sides of equal length is called an equilateral triangle. No, it is called isosceles triangle. B. Diameter of a circle is greater than its radius. Yes, it is correct because in a circle, if the starting point is this, this is the radius. Let's say this is 4 centimeter. So, its diameter will be 4 plus other half, 4. That is 8 centimeter. So, yes, this is the radius, 4 centimeter and this is the diameter, 8 centimeter. Diameter is more than the radius. So, correct answer is option B. Question 26. If pot is equal to 5 mugs, 3 bottles, bottle is equal to 2 mug, 1 cup, 1 mug is equal to cup, 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 1 mug is equal to 3 cup, then dash cups are needed to fill the pot. We will have to start solving from backwards. So, 1 mug is equal to 3 cup. So, if we apply that value in this situation, bottle is equal to mug plus mug plus cup, 1 mug, 3 cups. So, this means 3 cups, 3 cups and 1 cup. That is 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 1, 7. Bottle is equal to 7 cups. Now, in, now for pot, one bottle means 7 cups. So, 7 cups, 7 cups, 7 cups. Now, one mug means 3 cups. So, 3 cups, 3 cups, 3 cups, 3 cups, 3 cups. 7 plus 7, 14. 14 plus 7, 21. 21 plus 3, 24. 24 plus 3, 27. 27 plus 3, 30. 30 plus 3, 33. 33 plus 3, 36. 36 cups are required to fill the pot. So, correct answer is option A. Question 27. Avika was saving money to buy a necklace worth rupees 5,824. She saved rupees 416 every month for one year. How much more money does she need to save to buy the necklace? In one month, she saved rupees 416 so 12 months is equal to rupees 416 into 12 that is into rupees 4992 she saved 4992 in one year but the total price of the necklace is 5824 so how much more money she needs to save we will subtract 4,992 rupees from 5,824 rupees. That is 832 rupees. Correct answer is option A. Question 28. If the weight of one ball is 2 kg, then the weight of one cuboid is dash kg. There are 10 balls. Weight of 1 ball is 2 kg. Weight of 10 balls will be 10 into 2, 20 kg. If this side is 20 kg, then this side will also be 20 kg. Weight of 2 cylinders is 20 kg. Weight of 1 cylinder will be 20 upon 2, 10 kg. So, 1 cylinder is equal to 10 kg. Now, Weight of 5 balls, 5 into 2, 10, 10 kg plus weight of 1 cylinder, 10 kg, means 10 plus 10, 20 kg and this is also 20 kg. So, weight of 1 cuboid is 20 kg, correct answer is option C. Question 29, a farmer plucked 13,598 tea leaves from his garden. 98 were found rotten. 
he packed the good ones in packets each containing 150 tea leaves how many packets did he use so tea leaves plucked are 13598 tea leaves rotten 98 so tea leaves remaining 13598 minus 98 that is 13500 now he packed 13500 tea leaves into packets each containing 150 tea leaves so we will divide 13500 tea leaves by 150 tea leaves to get the number of packets used zero zero cut 53 is a 15 52 is a 10 57 is a 35 zero 3 ones are 3 3 9 is a 27 zero 90 he used 90 packets so correct answer is option b 90 question 30 kapil has 2205 candies and muffins all together if the number of candies is 6 times the number of muffins then find the number of candies let the number of muffins be x number of candies is 6 times the number of muffins so value of candies can be 6x now total number of candies and muffins is equal to 2205 so we can write it as candies plus muffins is equal to 2205 now we will put the values 6x plus x is equal to 2205 Six x plus x seven x. So seven x is equal to two thousand two hundred five. X is equal to two thousand two hundred five upon seven. That is three hundred fifteen. So x is equal to three hundred fifteen. Muffins is equal to three hundred fifteen. Now we need to find the number of candies. So candies value was. Six x value of x is three hundred fifteen, so we can write it as six into three hundred fifteen. That is equal to one thousand eight hundred ninety. Correct answer is option C. Achievers section question thirty one. Match the figures given in column one with their unshaded fractions given in column two, and select the correct option. If we put this part of the circle here. then this part gets shaded completely and if we put this part here then this part also gets shaded completely and this remains unshaded means 2 upon 8 part of this is unshaded in the second figure we'll put this here we'll put this here so unshaded parts are 1 2 again two parts are unshaded and in the third figure we'll put this here this here and this here so 1 2 3 4 5 five upon eight parts are unshaded so 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 5 9 nine upon eight parts are unshaded so p 2 p is equal to 2 P is equal to two. Answer can be from options A or C. Now Q. One, two, three, four. Four out of eight parts are unshaded. In the second figure, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six by eight are unshaded. And in the third figure, one, two, three, four, five. Five by eight parts are unshaded. So six plus four, ten. Ten plus five, fifteen by eight. Q is three. Q is three. Option A is the correct answer. Question thirty-two. Read the given statements carefully and state T for true and F for false. P 
Four is the smallest composite number. Q. A prime number has only one factor. R. All prime numbers are odd. P. Four is the smallest composite number. It is true. Options A and C will not be the answer. Q. A prime number has only one factor. No. It has one and the number itself. Two factors. This is incorrect. False. False. R. All prime numbers are odd. This is false because 2 is a prime number and it is even number. So, option D is the correct answer. Question 33. Anamika's flight to Bangalore departs at 2.45 pm. She has to check in at the airport terminal 1 hour 10 minutes earlier. The journey to the terminal takes 1 hour 15 minutes. She needs 45 minutes to get dressed and 20 minutes to have her lunch. At what time should she start preparing for her trip? Departing time is 2.45 p.m. Check-in time 1 hour 10 minutes earlier means 2 hours 45 minutes minus 1 hour 10 minutes that is equal to 1.35 p.m. Then journey to terminal reaching time. Okay. So by what time she has to reach the terminal? 1.35 minus 1 hour 15 minutes. That is equal to 12.20. She has to reach the terminal by 12.20. Now, she takes 45 minutes to dress up. So, for dress up, she has to start dressing up at 12.20 minus 45 minutes. That is 11.35 a.m. 20 minutes to have her lunch. So, at the time she eats 11.35 Minus 20. 11.15 a.m. So she needs to start preparing at 11.15 a.m. Correct answer is option C. Question 34. Arrange the given figures in ascending order of their perimeters. The length of side of square is 2 units. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. So this is 28 units. Next Q. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. Q has 36 units. R. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. 32 units. Now S. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. 40 units. So first we will arrange the digits. First we will arrange the units and then we will arrange them in their alphabetical order. So first is 28 units, then 32 units, then 36 units, then 40 units. 28 units P, 32 units R, 36 units Q and 40 units S. P, R, Q, S. Correct answer is option C. 
क्वेश्चन थर्टी फाइव सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट मैच फर्स्ट वी विल राइट द रोमन न्यूमरल्स इन दियर नंबर फॉर्म वन सिक्स थ्री जीरो प्लस वन जीरो फोर एट इज इक्वल टू टू सिक्स फाइव एट बट नो द साम इज टू सिक्स सेवन एट सो ऑप्शन ए इज इन करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी 1265 plus 1609 is equal to 1864. This is also incorrect because the sum is 2874. So B is incorrect. C. 2564 plus 606 is equal to 2160. This is also incorrect because the sum is three thousand one hundred seventy. D. One thousand four hundred seven plus one thousand four hundred nine is equal to two thousand eight hundred sixteen. Yes, the sum is two thousand one hundred. Yes, the sum is. Two thousand eight hundred sixteen. It is correct. So correct answer is option D. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See another video. Bye bye.